All right, hi everyone. Today I'm going to try to install PF Sense on one of these uh, Zotac Z boxes here. Uh, I've had this for some other project, but I, I noticed it had a couple of network cards on it, so I'm, I'm going to try installing PF Sense to see if I can uh, get a working router out of this. Um, so this is the, uh, the box. I stripped out the, uh, the covers so you can actually see inside. Uh, here we go. It's a better view. I'm holding it upside down, but uh, I'll be able to turn it on. I've tested it so it, it does power on. I'll be installing PF Sense from uh, USB key. Uh, I have removed the uh, M2 module, M2 SSD that comes shipped with the uh, Windows 10, so I wouldn't overwrite that by mistake. Uh, so I've installed one of these Kingston. SSD drives. Um, now this is not firmly placed in. I just have a piece of cardboard basically at the bottom so that way it doesn't uh, make contact with the circuit board. None of the uh, mounting screws are connected to this so I could easily uh, remove this afterwards. But um, I want to see how much functionality I could get out of this just to to see if it actually works. Um, I don't think the uh, the wireless module will, de will be detected properly. I don't think uh, PF Sense uh, actually supports a wide range of wireless devices, so I think that's as much as we're going to get just these two ports here. So let's uh, let's give it a try. All right. So before I start the installation, I'm actually going to go into the BIOS. So I have to disable. Uh, I think one thing and uh, two things actually. Let's just go in there. So this is the the BIOS, and uh, so you can see the specs. Uh, this is uh, Intel Celeron 2961 at 1.1 uh, gigahertz. Uh, two cores. Uh, two gigs of DDR3 memory, and Kingston 240 gig. SSD drive. Uh, so initially, let's go in here. Uh, I've had to disable the XHCI. Uh, that was just getting stuck during the installation process when it was trying to detect uh, USB uh, devices. And uh, the other thing I had to do was uh, look here Let's see yeah I disabled anything that I, I didn't really uh, understand here this CIR controller I'm not sure what it does uh, this uh, Azalea not sure what it does also And boot, I had to switch to legacy only. Uh, so it was on UFI Win 98. So that works for uh, Windows 98 and Windows 10 uh, boot up. So I switched that to legacy. And let's see, what else did I do? I think that's it. Otherwise, everything, everything else is the uh, default. So let's... Uh, Exit. Okay, and let's boot off the uh, USB key. All right, I'm just going to hit all the defaults.
So it seems to be going at normal install speed now. It looks to be detecting everything at the uh, proper speed. Okay, we're going to accept uh, the defaults. Quick, easy install. Alright, let's go. And standard kernel. We're going to reboot. So we're halfway there. That seems to be a quick install. I'm just going to let it try and boot off the uh, SSD drive. So it seems to be detecting everything properly. All right, so no VLANs. And I'm going to assign the WAN manually here. So I don't have the uh, LAN or WAN cables uh, connected, but this will still come up. Um, I'll add that section after we're done with this, and I'll log into the uh, GUI so you can actually see. So the good thing is that it actually supports a built-in speaker. You can actually hear the uh, little tune that it makes when it's fully booted. So that's great. Uh, let's see, I'm going to just do one more thing. All right, I enable the SSH, and um, I'm going to shut it down now, and we're going to log in through the web interface. So, shut down, yes. Okay. So it seems like uh, everything is uh, working properly. It it, it most likely didn't detect the uh, the wireless, but once we get into the GUI interface, we'll check that. But um, at least you, you get to hear the sounds in some installs. There's no sound at all. Okay, and let's go to the next section. All right, so this is uh, the first uh, login we're going to do into the uh, newly installed router on the uh, Zoltac uh, Nano. So you always have to do this, so uh, this is normal. And it's taking a while. Let's try this again. There we go. 
Okay. All right. And I'm just going to leave that. Uh, I'm just going to put Google's own uh, DNS servers here. Uh, let's not allow this. And um, just pick the uh, nearest uh, city, basically, that you're in. Uh, where am I? So I'm near Toronto. There we go. And uh, when interface DHCP, that's what we want. So I'm just going to put in my secret password here. All right. And let's reload. All right. So I'm going to refresh this because it's not showing the full screen. I don't know why it does this sometimes. Here we go. So now we can see uh, the version. So I installed these, uh, the 64-bit version, and it's the latest version at the time I was installing it. And uh, yeah, this is exactly what we saw in the uh, BIOS. And let's see. So this is not actually uh, the WAN IP address. So this is uh, my local IP address. I just uh, connected another router in, in in between, basically, so we can have the WAN interface working. Uh, let's see. So it actually uh, is displaying the uh, the temperature correctly here. That's good. Okay. So let's add some widgets here. So normally I I add. Uh, the gateways and uh, let's see. firewall logs and let's minimize this for now. I don't want anybody to see my IP address if it uh, shows up in the firewall logs. Uh, traffic graphs, that's always good. So what you need to do in here is uh, just go into the, um, the little wrench here. Come on. And you want to make it show all the interfaces. Uh, I usually toggle this to five seconds. All right. So we got more things happening now. So. And uh, so you could actually see the the graph working. Let's see what else can we add? Let's see if there's any. Okay, so we got some smart. And thermal sensors. We should because it's displaying the temperature here. So that's good. So it looks there's there's two. So I'm wondering if it's um, zone one and zone zero. Hmm. So I guess this zone zero is the CPU. I wonder if what the other sensor is. Okay. So so this actually turned out pretty good. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see all at least the thermal sensors uh, show up. Um, but everything else looks fine. Uh, okay, so we got another page open, another tab, and let's just type pfSense. Let's go to pfSense site. And everything loads up. 